Hello friends, it's time for a video that we have been excited for for a little bit. We're talking about septal piercings today. And so to start, what the heck is a septal? A septal is a type of nose piercing that is done somewhere through the tip or along the septum of the nose. Here is a picture of one that I just recently did. Um, and a lot of folks look at this and think, is that a surface anchor? Is that a microdermal? How does that even work? Where is the backing? Uh, and it is far cooler than all of that. The prerequisite for a septal piercing is a very large stretch septum, ideally around a two to a zero gauge. Hypothetically, on the right nose, you could maybe make it happen in a four, but honestly, you'd want to be at around a two or a zero to pull off a septal. And how this works is someone stretches their septum over the course of many years to get it up to that size. And then when they remove jewelry, they have a big hole in their septum. <laughs> And so with jewelry out, we can pierce through kind of the front wall of that piercing. Here's a little diagram to try and help that make sense. So the piercing goes through that space along the front side of the stretch septum. Imagine my stretched ear if I did a little piercing right here through the lobe. It's kind of the same thing. Now, septrals are most commonly done with librette style pieces where it has a small disc on the inside. This is gonna be the most comfortable to wear in that channel. It's not gonna occupy a bunch of space. And once this piercing is well healed, you can still wear jewelry in your septum with that piercing there. A lot of folks will wear like a size slightly smaller, large piece like a circular or a captive or a segment ring, or they'll wear silicone eyelets with their septal and then stack smaller rings in that or wear pieces through that eyelet. But the labrette style is really perfect and comfortable for this because it occupies the least amount of space inside that channel of their septum uh, and just is pretty easy to keep clean and pretty straightforward to change in and out on your own if you decide you want to swap jewelry for it. Now the other most common question is, how the heck do you do a piercing like this? Uh, so here is actually a clip of me performing a septal on my coworker Tosh. I'm gonna feel some pressure on the front of your mark, but not me piercing, just me getting lined up and into position. Nice big deep breath. Exhale, you're doing great. Breathe, 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 breathe. Mm. Mm. You feel me transferring this mm. out? You did awesome. You're a champ. Now I'm just gonna guide your jewelry in. You did very good. Mm. It's pretty cool, right? Not pictured in this clip is before we got started, I tested out a ton of different tools to see what I was gonna wanna use for this. I practiced some purely freehand braces. I actually made and modified some tools using blanks and other equipment around the studio. Um, checked in with a lot of different things. And since Tosh has, as you saw, a bunch of other nostril piercings that we had to work around, including those little front facing nostrils, sometimes called mantis piercings. Uh, that made working around this super, super complicated. So ultimately we went primarily freehand with a surgical cotton tipped applicator. Um, one of the ones with the little like foamy tips because that fit really comfortably in their septum and wasn't getting in the way of their other nostril piercings or distorting the tissue. Uh, and it turned out super awesome. Although I will say having to work work around all those other nostril piercings and transfer everything around all those other nostril piercings. Very hard, did not love it. Wasn't my favorite, wasn't Tasha's favorite either. But this has been healing really, really well. Obviously they are my coworkers, so I get to look at it every single day. They come into work and I'm like, getting in there with their nose. I'm like, let me see how it's looking. Let me clean your boogers. Let me make sure it's healing well. Um, and it's been healing beautifully. I'm so happy with it. 
Now with a septal piercing, obviously it requires a very large stretch septum in order to be done, and you can't wear the jewelry during the first portion of healing. So if you're thinking about getting a septal, make peace with the fact that you're gonna lose a little bit of size in your septum because you're not gonna be able to wear jewelry while it is still initially healing. However, for folks who have had very large stretch septums for quite some time, you know that while it'll lose a little bit of size, it's not going to shrink completely. Uh, and that's where the magic of doing this piercing goes from. Healing for this is honestly really similar to front-facing nostril piercings. Um, so it heals kind of like a regular nostril. It is slightly more boogery from my experience and from Tasha's experience. Uh, it's just the nature of where it is. It's a nose. There's going to be boogers. It happens. Honestly, when it comes down to piercings that are more unique and more unusual, if I had to pick a favorite, I think the septal would probably be it or very close to the top. I have been doing this for 10 years and I remember being young, not even a piercer yet on BME and watching Modify and seeing the cool septal piercings that people had and just being really awestruck by them. Because not only is it such a cool piercing that you pretty much never see. I mean, again, I've been doing this for 10 years. This is the first one that I've gotten the opportunity to pierce. I know piercers who have been doing this for 20 and 25 years who've never gotten to do a septal piercing. Um, so not only how unusual it is, but the amount of commitment that it takes for something like this. Septum stretching is not easy, it's not fast, and it's not comfortable. It is not comfortable. My septum is stacked to a zero gauge. It's spicy. That, that's spicy. Um, so to stretch it so large with the goal of a piercing like this and to commit to something like that, that takes literally years. Tosh was stretching their septum for, I believe, five years with the goal of this septal piercing in mind. They first talked to me about getting their septal pierced four, four-ish years ago when we worked together in Florida. Like, They've been working on this for a long time. That is such a commitment. And then to have a piercing that is so unique and so uncommon that people are always gonna be like, oh my God, how does that work? Like, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. To commemorate what a journey you've been on with stretching your septum and then getting this piercing and then healing this piercing, just everything about it I think is so cool and so epitomizes so many portions of body piercing that I love from the personal journey of stretching to really cool really unique piercings that push the limits of our bodies to see exactly what we can do with our bodies to modifications that are truly unique and truly awesome and truly celebrate individuality. A septal just has it all. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh, Lynn, if you love them so much, why don't you get one? I, I think about it all the time. I won't lie to you. I really do. But my septum is stretched by stacking. So my septum is a long, skinny channel. And I've taken out the rings and felt around. And I just don't think there's enough vertical height with my stack to really do a septal and do it well. I think I would have to retire the stack and stretch with a single round piece for a couple of months to like a year to get enough space to be able to do one uh, and I just don't know that I want to give up my stack for that but I think about it I think about it all the time because septrals are really cool. That is some information about a septal piercing. If this is a piercing that you're thinking about getting, obviously it's a huge commitment. The biggest commitment is time and how much time it's gonna take you to stretch your septum that large. Uh, but I say go for it. I think these are such cool piercings. I'm so excited about them. Uh, and if you wanna get a septal and you're looking for a piercer to do one, I would, I would love to do another one. So, you know, hit me up, let me know. Uh, and as per usual, if you like my content, please hit like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see some more videos of me doing piercings like this and also talking about how they work and all of that stuff, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have an unusual piercing you'd really like to see me talk about, let me know as well. <laughs> all right. It was awesome hanging out and chatting. Have a great day, y'all.